I rolled on my back once more, and he stood over me. Pink vapors burned my cheek. I felt the flesh bubbling from the contact. He drew a long, slow, wet breath. Then I looked above him. Glory? A crate dropped on Sanguine's back with a resounding crunch, and he collapsed beneath its weight. A pink spray poured down through the catwalk, great, and into the sea of noxious vapors beneath us. It rolled away, feeling my flesh drip. Oh, I really, really hoped I could regenerate this. Then I stared in shock as Psycho Shy landed beside me, tears streaking her cheeks. You said it was going to be you and me, Sanguine. That'd be us, in our life, with Red Eye. The Orange Mare sobbed. Were you going to kill me once you had Chimera? Or were you just going to dump me and run off your family? Stupid, ungrateful, wretched, traitorous meat. I should have thrown you away when I had the chance. He hissed beneath the crate. Then his lips curled. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh yeah? Why? I asked with a snort. Then a wince. I really hoped I still had a left side of my face. At least I could still blink that eye. Ahem. <clears throat> Coughed a voice from behind me. I turned and stared at three hovering griffins in power armor, and a dozen more guard ponies similarly equipped. One pressed a gun to P 21's head as he pinned the struggling stallion. The lead griffin pointed a high-caliber precision rifle at my head, and said, We wanted to tell you that we've got the flux loaded and we are ready to leave. He looked at the pin ghoul. Do you have Chimera? Almost, he rasped, his broken hooves scraping at the catwalk grate. I'm so close. Just kill her, and I just need a little more time. I see. The griffin replied as the guards dropped past us and Sanguine gave a growing smile. But they simply collected their fallen comrades and their wounded, doing nothing against me or to help free him. His glassy eyes popped wide when they started to trot back the way they'd come. No. What are you doing? No! 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 You can't! You need me! Sanguine shouted after them. The griffin just snorted. Glue cracked Twilight's notes three days ago. We don't need you for anything. Red Eye thanks you for your offer of pre-war aid, but says he can't extend any more time or resources to Chimera. In addition, for your crimes against the mining settlement at Brimstone's Fall, Red Eye wishes for me to personally inform you that you will be shot on sight if you are seen anywhere in the vicinity of the Cathedral or Philadelphia. I stared at the released P-21 and started to go. Wait, you're just leaving him? I asked. The griffin looked amused. You're not going to kill us? Somehow I felt a little surprised that some pony else was showing mercy on us rather than just killing us for the fun of it. That it was coming from one of Red Eye's people was a touch more disturbing. You're welcome. Near as I can tell, leaving you alive in this hellhole is worse punishment than killing you. Besides, the robots in the tunnels will probably do that. As for us, contract's done. We have the flux needed, and we'll deduct his payment, he said with a wave of the pinned ghoul, to cover any costs in loss of life. The griffin gave a snide grin. Be glad I'm not Vermilion Sanguine. After the annoyance you caused him, well... I'm pretty sure he'd take the time to get creative. He flew off towards the others. I watched them go and sat down hard. Come on, let's get out of here. I've had enough of pony freaks, ghouls, and killer robots in general. Oofington can kiss my ass. When they disappeared down the catwalk, I turned back to look at Sanguine trapped beneath the crate, saying, Well, that was interesting. P-21 had jammed a grenade in his mouth. Stop! I yelled. P-21, uh, Psycho Shy looked in shock. Rampage sighed, Boo flinched, and P-21 scowled. 
Sanguine stared back at me, his pink breath trickling around the apple. No, Blackjack! Fucking no! P-21 yelled, hoof poised over the stem. This bastard needs to die. He needs to die in the worst way possible. I'm not arguing that, I said as I stepped closer to him. This was it. Get the pit buck back. Kill him. Or was I going to do the triple win and lie to help him help Scotch kill him, finish him off, or let somebody else kill him? My hoof should be clean then, right? I sighed as I sat down, looking at the old ghoul. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? Damn it, Blackjack! You swore to kill him! You swore to dusty trails that she was dying! P-21 yelled at me. I knew I had. I did. But... You can't just let him live! I'll kill him if you won't! I'll do it! No. You won't, I said evenly, looking at him in the eye. Because I know that you're a good pony, P-21. And good ponies don't kill in cold blood. He shook, his hoof tapping against the metal case of the grenade in Sanguine's mouth. Besides, I want to hear his answer. P-21 gave a ragged, exuberating breath. Who cares what his reason was? Does it matter? Is there anything he could possibly say that excuse what he did in that mine? What he did to Priest? He demanded his eyes drilling into me. Sweet Celestia Blackjack, just kill him! Your call, Rampage said with a little shrug. Psycho Shy simply kept her head turned away as she wept. Boo stared, wide eyes. I'll do it! I will! I will! P-21 yelled as he shook, gritting his teeth. One flick, just one. I moved even closer to him. I wanted to win. Wanted to avenge Dusty and Priest. Wanted to do all of that. And so did he. Then I put my hooves around him and held him close. He's not the Overmare, I whispered softly. P-21 froze and then leaned against me as he sniffed. Killing him won't be like killing her. And it won't bring peace Priest back. He let out a soft sob, muffled by my mane as I held him close. I wish I could follow through on that promise to Dusty. I do. Maybe I still will. But not like this. He ever so slowly pulled his hoof away and murmured, Maybe. But he should be killed. He's done horrible things. He deserves to die for them. And I couldn't argue with that. He was right. Sanguine should die. It should be a win. The right thing to do. But I'm not an executioner. P-21 moved aside, and Rampage sighed. Softest damn hardening wasteland, I swear. The filly shook her head and carefully tugged the grenade out. Then she narrowed her eyes. I don't have a soft heart. So if you so much as sneeze at her, I'm going to power hoof tap dance on your skull. Understand? Sure. He replied quietly. He hadn't taken his eyes off me. I heaved the crate off him, and he rose slowly, staring. Your friend is right. I do deserve to die. Ponies keep telling me that. I stared back. What I don't understand is, if you know what you're doing is wrong, why do you keep on being bad? I know what it's like to screw up. All I can try and do is better. Well... Some of us weren't so good even before we became monsters, he replied. So, what now? As soon as those tankers leave, this place will be overrun. I'd love to know by who, how, and why, but I don't have time for that. When I was dying, you said you could replace organs for me using Chimera. Well, now I have a friend who breathed in a whole lungful of chlorine gas, and if she's not dead now, she may be soon. I said as I stared into his eyes. So, I'll unlock Chimera, if you'll do what you have to do to make a clone for her. You'll just give me Chimera for that. He stammered in disbelief. No, 
I'm not giving it to you. Sorry, I don't trust you or Red Eye with it. But I will let you help your family. And if this is an OIA facility, then I can't believe it doesn't have some kind of automated defenses. It does, he murmured, then lowered his eyes. You asked me why I didn't tell you about my family. Why I talked like some sort of mad scientist from a bad pulp novel. The answer is simple. I'm ashamed. Being a mad scientist ghoul was better, easier, than being a father unable to beg for help. Because I never imagined you'd believe me or help me if I did. Rampage ripped my pip buck off Psycho Shy's leg. The Pegasus with the ratty wings couldn't look at any pony. Sanguine glanced back at the golden maned mare. I'm sorry that I used you, Fluttershy. Only a pony descended from a ministry mare could use EC-1101. Is she a clone or something? Rampage asked as she passed me my pit buck. No. She's Fluttershy's daughter. Sanguine and Psycho Shy weren't talking much about the details of that little bomb. P-21 wasn't talking to any pony, and Rampage was duct-taping my pit buck to my limb till Scotch could wire it up properly. And now my vision was filled with all kinds of fancy little images, displays, and pictures. I winced and said, Okay, did you mess with all of my settings or something? Had my EFS always flashed and twitched like this? It was making my head hurt a little. No, strike that. It was my meh making my head hurt bad. Then, just like that, it all stopped. Everything did. The pain, the flashes, everything. I felt like I just entered sats. And I was frozen for the moment in calm consideration. And the dealer was there before me. The cards shuffled repeatedly in my hooves. And again, with each shuffle, I saw numbers in the margins of my vision shifting and randomizing and disappearing again. His pale eyes turned to mine from under the brim of the dark hat. So? What are you? You're... Not my crazy, are you? 